and welcome to this brief tutorial where we talk about how to use the interactive pen tool from Epson with a web page. So many faculty will use web pages as part of their lecture in any given day and it would be really nice to know how to use this board in an interactive way. So we have the Epson Brightlink pens and they can be used as a mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it will bring up, when I touch the board, the pen tools. And so here again we have a row of tools along the bottom and we have a mouse tool, which is what's highlighted currently on the side here. Now depending on what you're wanting to do on a web page, you might either need the mouse tool, or if I click on it, you might want to use the pen as well. So if there's something I want to highlight on this page, I might choose the pen tool and then choose my highlighter. So if I'm talking to students about something happening, maybe I want them to know that, you know, August interim is going to be ending. So I would want to highlight that without actually clicking on the link. So using the interactive pen tool is very much like having a transparency layer over the top of a static item. So I can go through then and highlight certain things without clicking on a link and changing the page. But if I want to go back to my mouse tool, I can click here and choose mouse. And now everything I had written with the pen tool is gone and I can actually click on a link and go somewhere else. So that does allow you to use this both as a mouse and as a pen tool. Now, however, if I go back to pen, I want to point something out. You see all of the scribbles from the page before? I didn't clear them and they do not automatically clear when you change windows. So that is kind of important. If you are using the pen tool, you may want to just go ahead and choose the eraser to erase everything on the page. So before you go to another page. Now if I write on this page, or I highlight something and talk about um, August interim will be ending, which we are all very aware of. Um, if I want to go to another link and switch the mouse tool, it's probably best to go ahead and clear before clicking somewhere else and going to another link. So I hope you have found this valuable as you learn to use the pen tool. Um, I have found personally that it takes a little bit to remember, oh yes, I have to switch between mouse when I want to click a link and between pen when I want to use a pen, but it is very doable. It just takes a day or two of using. Um, also, for those of you who maybe are a little bit hesitant to use the interactive pen, we do have dry erase markers and you can use them on this board. So if you would prefer to go old school, no pun intended, feel free to use this to write on as you work on the board and there are erasers and cleaner in the room as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as you learn how to use Brightlink with web pages. If you have additional questions, please don't hesitate to call the Learning Technologies team office at 785-7750.